12.5 uh, talks about recursive rules, and it also talks briefly about iterations, which is very similar to a recursive sequence. Um, but there are a few things that are different, so I'll try to kind of make that distinguished um, difference stand out for you. So this particular problem says find the first three iterates of the function f of x equals 2x minus 5 for an initial value of x sub 0 equals 3. So first notice it's function notation and it's not sequence notation, so that's different. Um, finding the first three terms in function notation instead of the first three terms in sequence notation, but if you know it's very similar. So basically what an iteration is, is it's just a, um, a series of inputs, putting input values in and getting output values in and then laying out that, that um, pattern. So it's very much like a sequence. So we know that x sub 0 equals 3, and they ask you to find the first three iterates. Now, you, um, with a sequence, the term that's given counts as your first value, but not with an iteration because you have to actually go through the sequence before it counts. So to find the first three terms, that technically me means I need to find x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3. So just to clarify, that's one difference between an iteration and a sequence, and it's an easy mistake to kind of miss. So all you need to do to find x sub 1 is you take the function of x and you replace it with its previous term. So you don't actually put 1 in, so that's maybe different than what you would think. So I'm going to do f of 3 and substitute 3 in for all of those x's, and of course the math is easy, 6 minus 5 is 1. So again, my initial term was 3, and that's what I put in to find my next term, my first term. And then you just keep going, so it's just kind of a, again, a series of, of inputs. So now I'm going to do f of 1, because my last output was 1, so that becomes my next input. And that's 2 times 1 minus 5, and of course that's negative 3. And then x sub 3, I'm going to use my last output of negative 3 and put that in for x. So that's negative 6 minus 5, which is negative 11. So the first three iterates are 1, negative 3, and negative 11. This problem is an application um, to a recursive sequence. So it says a nursery initially had 300 trees. Each year it sells 70% of its stock and adds 500 new trees. Part A says write a recursive rule for the number of trees in stock at the beginning of the nth year. Okay, so remind yourself recursive should involve an a sub n minus 1. So your sequence will um, depend on its previous term. So a couple things you note about the problem, it initially had 300 trees. So I could say a sub 0 equals 300. Um, you, you could also call that a sub 1 if you want, like for the first year, and that's completely up to you. The math will work out to be the same, so that's fine. So the initially a sub 0 equals 300, and then each year it sells 70% of its stock, but I want an um, a sequence rule that will give the number of trees in stock. So if it sells 70%, that means I'm going to have 30% in stock. So just be careful. That's a very tricky piece also. So a sub n will equal 30%, and I'm going to write that as a decimal, of my previous years number of trees and then it's going to um, add 500. So again stop and make sense of that. So initially it had 300 then each year it's going to have 30 percent of the trees left so that's the 300 would go in here plus 500. Part B says how many trees does it have in stock at the beginning of the fifth year? So I'm going to just talk through a little um, maybe a shortcut that you could do on your calculator and ask your teacher to show you if it if it doesn't uh, work out for you, but push pause, grab your calculator. Um, I mean, you could type this, this recursive sequence in five times for sure, uh, but what you can do is if you type in the initial amount, so just type, go to your home screen, type in 300 and just press enter, and I know it seems kind of foolish, so you aren't doing anything but pre 
so 300, press enter, it just says 300. Then you're going to type in 0.3 times answer, okay, and I'll write this out so you do 300 and then you press enter on your calculator. Then you're going to type in 0.3 times answer and your answer button is above your uh, negative key, plus 500. And press enter and your first value should be 590 and again if you want to check you can check. So that's like that's my first year. We want to go through the beginning of the fifth year. So I press enter again and I get 677. I press enter again I get 703.1 and I know I can't have part of a tree but I guess I'll um, make sense of that later. Press enter again so my fourth time is 710.93 and finally my fifth is 713.279 so I'll just say 713 trees at the beginning of my fifth year. And then part C says what happens to the number of trees at the nursery over time? Now if you keep pressing your um, press, pressing enter on your calculator it's going to start approaching 714.2857, et cetera, et cetera, and then it just, it just plateaus. So it's kind of like an asymptote. Um, you know, from a business standpoint, you're going to reach the point where your um, number of trees in stock plus the 500 new trees is just going to um, approach uh, a number where it's not growing anymore. And that's what's happening to this particular nursery.